look out of nothing If that's all that you can see ba ba What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to Jethro Tull with their song Nothing is Easy off of their album Stand Up uh, released in 1969. I hope that you guys have been enjoying uh, listening to more Jethro Tull because listen I don't know if you've noticed but I've been definitely enjoying uh, listening to more Jethro Tull. You guys are more than welcome to join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. My wife has my lovely wife has gone out to go get uh, some food and some coffee from Starbucks, which by the way, I haven't had coffee in like two months now. I've just been drinking tea. I had a cup, a small cup of pumpkin spice latte from McDonald's yesterday. I couldn't resist. And you know what? It was pretty good. I might be starting up my coffee kick again. I know that you guys are interested in that, but I just wanted to let you know. Sometimes I just want to let you know what's going on in my personal life. And... You know, that's what's going on in my personal life. Coffee is slowly being reintroduced. Uh, join me on Twitter. Join me in the comments down below. Uh, let's do it. This is Nothing Is Easy by Jethro Tull.
clap. I have to clap. Like, okay. I love how... <laughs> I love how near the end of the song, like, it was, like, building up to be over, but the song title is Nothing Is Easy, and apparently it's not easy to end the song, because they're like, nope, let's, let's go one more round, let's, <laughs> let's go one more round, uh, one more drive around the bend, uh, just to bring it around full circle. But, all right, that song was fantastic, okay? That song was, like, that song was good. I know I've mentioned this probably with every video that I've done on Jethro Tull, uh, relating to this album, but this song to me, was the perfect blend of, this was like rock and roll, like this was like pure rock and roll, right? Uh, a little bit of jazz influence, uh, definitely the blues influence. This was a perfect balance of all three, if I heard a perfect balance. Like throughout the song, they balance it well, but I think that so far, at least in this song, is where the, the, the combination and the formula is like perfected. Instrumentation on this song was really just off the charts. Obviously, the drumming. <laughs> the drumming was fantastic and, and just out of this world. Um, guitar, psh, yeah. Flute, psh, yeah. <laughs> like, everything. Bass, okay. The bass uh, actually stood out, I don't want to say the most, but the bass uh, stood out so much in this song. Playing in a very blues, jazzy way, almost like the way like an upright bass would be played, but I'm assuming just, you know, applying it to an electric bass here. But I like how it kind of switched from that mood, and then sometimes you get some really fast finger runs that would kind of bring back that, that really rock feel, especially as the music got heavier. I love the trade-offs and the back and forths uh, between the guitar and the flutes, something that you would find a lot in like jazz music, or uh, blues music rather, where it'd be like ba bum ba bum bum and then you get like a little solo, like a quick one, and then it go back to bum, 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 and then like another solo right there. All right, they did the same thing here in Nothing Is Easy by Jethro Tull. Also, I feel like I've been yelling at you guys. Am I yelling at you guys? I'm sorry. Um, I feel like they, they did the same thing here in this song, um, but with the guitar and the flute kind of doing trade-offs back and forth. And then at the end of those trade-offs, the drums would come in and just like, just unleash <laughs> this inferno of, of fills uh, upon the band, just like mesmerizing. Ian was great in the song, but it wasn't about him this time, okay? I love his vocals, I love the way he plays and everything, but it was more his flute that was doing the talking in this one, along with the rest of the band and the rest of the instruments. I have a delivery. Oh, well, thank you. I did tell them that you were going to get, uh, get our breakfast, so thank you so much for that. See, the way that Clive Bunker on the drum sets up the battle uh, between, uh, between Ian Anderson, <laughs> And, uh, and, uh, Mr. Mr. Bear, or Bar, I, I was, I never know how to pronounce his name, but I really enjoy that back and forth between the guitar, uh, and the flutes there. I think that's really exceptionally done, uh, really just, just carried, uh, like I said, by the, uh, drums and the bass here. And this has so much drive! Like, listen to how the flute leads this, but the bass is, to me the bass is really leading it, but... And then it brings it all back down, simmers it back down! Turning the, turning the fire from a 9 back down to a 4. Yeah, and then getting back to this transition that they had used in the beginning of the song. I really think this song is really cool. It has a lot of different movements, a lot of dynamics. Uh, but it's a great way, actually, to start off side B of the album. So, you know, when you're flipping the vinyl and this is what greets you, I think you'd be happy. I, I think you'd be good. <laughs> the lyrics, nothing is easy, though time gets you worrying. My friend, it's okay, just take your life easy and stop all that hurrying. Be happy my way. When tension starts mounting and you've lost count of the pennies you've missed, just try hard and see why they're not worrying me. They're last on my list. Nothing's easy. Nothing's easy, you'll find that the squeeze won't turn out so bad your fingers may freeze. Worse things happen at sea. There's good times to be had. So if you're alone and you're down to the bone, just give us a play. You'll smile in a while and discover that I'll, I'll get you happy my way. Nothing's easy. You know, I like that. Lyrics are really well written. Nothing is easy in life. There's gonna be bad times. But take an example from Mr. Anderson over here. He says, you know, look at me. There, sometimes pennies are missing. You know, sometimes the, the, the bank account is a little bit lower than you, you know, you thought it was. And you're like, hey, what happened there? Relax. You know, there's worse things that could happen. There's, there's worse things, as he says, going on at sea. Just relax. It's not too bad. You'll make it. It's gonna be okay. Hakuna Matata. Don't worry. Be happy. Count your blessings. And uh, sometimes there's only a few of them. <laughs> but 
count them nonetheless. Anyways, I definitely enjoyed this song. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. You can also join me on Twitter if you're interested. Sometimes I post random stuff there. I don't know. Uh, you can join me in the comments down below like I just mentioned, and I hope that you do. I'm going to go have my coffee, a small little sandwich, maybe a bit of a scone, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.